So what's up everyone? Today I'm trying to get my uh, sunroof, or uh, not sunroof, the uh, convertible top working. Figured I'd pull the motor out, motor and pump assembly, and see if I could get the motor unseized, because I figured it'd be rusty, but wow, this thing's, this thing is disgusting. I think I might just buy a new one. So I might try to clean this one up and see if I can get it to spin again, just to save it for free. This thing looks worse than I was figuring. So to change that motor, what you have to do, you have to stick your head up in this corner, back here. And you're gonna come up here. You might have to take the trim piece off or two. But then uh, down there, you're gonna have a little top cover. This is literally all you're gonna be really seeing. You really don't need much. But down there, there's a cover. And you're just gonna have to yank on that cover. Like I'll get out to pop this. This guy's cover off. And this is what you're gonna be trying to get off. Just held on by tabs. So you yank on it good enough. She's gonna come off. Some of them I saw other people had, they had tape wrapped around it, so that's, you might have that on your situation. I didn't, I guess I was lucky. So you're gonna yank that wicked hard, that'll pop off. Then after you do that, you should be able to pull your motor out slightly. And then once your motor's out, you'll be able to slide just far enough to pop off your, uh, get your lines off. Once your lines are off, you can, or you'll be able to disconnect the power in the ground. Then you can disconnect the lines. Make sure you don't get them mixed up. Try to remember which one goes on which side. And after that, well, while that's happening, it's only gonna be up in this area still though. You're not gonna be able to pull it all the way out until you pull this bottom cover off. Let's see this bottom cover and this bottom cover sorry for it being so dark I'm trying to make up for lost time this bottom cover really stuck in there it's zip tied on a couple spots so you really got to yank on her get her out once you get her out though cut the few zip ties off the lines and then you'll be good to go the motor will be out, this will be out, and you'll be able to pull all your lines out. All right, so I was able to pop this bottom piece out. This was holding all these lines in from getting, coming out any farther. I was able to get all the lines to come through. Kind of kept the ones that are supposed to stay together together. Just some tape, power cable. But I'll be able to put this right here Something like that. So it'll be way more accessible. Say something goes wrong in the future. Pump did look good, but who knows? It's an older car. I'll wait till I get a new motor in, mount it all up. But where we're at now, it's pretty cool. We'll put that right there or something. Heck yeah, guys. I still can't believe how corroded this thing is. Focus. Pretty bad design. Put it in the uh, drainage tray right there. I don't know why BMW would do that, but hey, they're not worried about that. And neither am I anymore. So I'll never have it relocated. I'm excited to have this top working. Not have to do it by hand. I might tuck those lines underneath here. Cut a little hole in the plastic. Drop the lines down. Make it look mint. Yep, that's all for now though, because I gotta order that part. 
Probably won't put this out until I do, so camera magic. We'll be right back in here. Okay, bam, and we're back. Got the new motor set up. It's got a new gasket. Costs 100 bucks. Pretty cheap. Got her hooked up. Wanted to make sure it worked before I go ahead and throw it all back together, so give her the old test. boogies so that's good so now I'll just have to pull this piece off put that back on bolt it up get the pump running on there and make sure I got my polarity right make sure the pumps going the right way and I'll be able to test the top I didn't want to see it all the way. Pull that o-ring out. And all in all, I thought this repair would be a little trickier. It's really not too bad. I was partially getting it out from back there. Back there. All in all, it only costs 100 bucks too, so if you're totally by yourself, it's really not that bad. Throw the lines back on. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna go back, look through some pictures, see which one goes where. Hopefully, I can remember. Yeah, we'll see. You know, something I noticed you buy cheap parts, you get cheap stuff. This little tab hits on like the impeller blade, the fan, the blade in there. I gotta like push it up. I already pushed it up once. I was just putting on the uh, connector again pop back down. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, that's definitely a problem. So I was able to just push that right back up into place. Taking a screwdriver, just twisting it like that. It shouldn't be an issue now. If that happens to you, you might have to do that by one of these cheap pumps. They're cheap motors.
there's a little bit of gas. This one goes here. Jordan. Jordan. That's the worst that can happen. Doesn't work. Huh. Three doesn't work. Come on, bring it here. Drop it over. Probably shouldn't place it. Not going to. So, top down, $100 fix. This is a perfect reason to uh, go ahead and get after your Z4 top that's not working. It's only 100 bucks. Don't be cheap, fix it. Woo! Oh yeah, so, just so you know, so why it didn't work at first. There's this little safety switch. Another reason why it might not work. Wicked dark. Little safety switch in the back. Hey, yeah. So what I did, I just threw a piece of tape on it. So that was able to hold down the switch for testing purposes. I don't have the little piece that goes by. I'll buy it eventually, or I won't. Might just bypass the switch. You know how it is. Yeah, top of the Z4. She working.
now. Have a good night, guys.